We've made it to the midway points of the NFL's regular season with week number 10. Hey, everyone, Rob Wong joined alongside by national NFL columnist John Crick for yet another NFL breakdown. And, John, we got to begin in Buffalo, where the Bills are hosting the Minnesota Vikings. They are three-and-a-half-point home favorites are the Bills. But the big question is right now, will Josh Allen play? He's dealing with an elbow injury. He is currently day-to-day, according to the head coach, Sean McDermott. If he plays or he doesn't play, how do you think this uh, might affect the Bills in this matchup against the Vikings? Well, first, I think it'll affect that uh, that point spread. I expect that to start falling now that uh, we know that uh, head coach Sean McDermott isn't doesn't sound like he's going to tip his cards at all. Usually this information gets out by Saturday or Sunday, but we'll see. I would expect, though, that even let's say Josh Allen can't play because of this elbow injury he suffered last Sunday uh, against the New York Jets. Um and let's say it's not serious, he's not out too long. For this game, you know who would be the quarterback for the Bills would be Case Keenum. And his top receiver, of course, would be Stephon Diggs. It was Keenum to Diggs in that famous Minneapolis miracle that beat the New Orleans Saints in that playoff game a few years ago where, you know, there's, someday they're going to build a statue probably outside that stadium uh, to, to celebrate and honor the Keenum to Diggs uh, touchdown in the last few seconds, the long Hail Mary down the sideline. Well, it would be Keenum and Diggs going against the Vikings again. And, of course, Minnesota opted to move on from Case Keenum not long after that. And so you got to think that he'd be rubbing his hands at the chance to get to play those Vikings again. Diggs as well. They traded him away, right? So... For both those players, first time again playing Minnesota, I think they'd love that. And I wouldn't, to me, I'd still pick Buffalo. Yeah, the revenge narrative is also always a great one. And uh, you've uh, chalked up a pretty nice one there with Keenum and Diggs. Shifting to another team from the AFC East, the Miami Dolphins will host the Cleveland Browns on Sunday. The Dolphins, three and a half point home favorites as it stands right now, two. And Tua Tonga Vailoa looked really, really good uh, last week. He has looked pretty good the last couple of games here. Who do you like uh, in this matchup? Straight up, the Dolphins. But even more strange is that narrow. Um, point differential they're favored only by three and a half that would suggest that on a neutral field there'd be they'd be maybe a one at most point favorite over cleveland come on what are we talking about here the dolphins even just want to look at similar teams there are there aren't many teams in the league that would be more similar i would think uh this season than the cleveland browns and the chicago bears whose quarterback plays erratic at best and below par as far as yardage and that they rely almost entirely on their running game to move the ball down the field. Well, Miami just last Sunday won in Chicago, and it took the greatest game yet played by Justin Fields to make it that close, three points. So why would you think the week later that the Dolphins wouldn't win by more or be favored by more against the Browns? It's almost the same type of team. Yeah, if, if you're going against, uh, if you bet against spreads, take the Dolphins in this one. All right, we finally wrap things up with the uh, 425 game as part of the afternoon tilts. The Dallas Cowboys will head to Green Bay. The Cowboys, five-point favorites on the road. Always difficult at this time of year, of course, to play at Lambeau Field when the temperature starts to drop. But uh, this uh, Green Bay offense, as you mentioned, John, uh, is not uh, too too hot right now. They are definitely one of the coldest teams uh, in the league. Can they turn things around this week against Big D? Man, the coldest thing of all isn't going to be the frozen tundra. And again, we only ever hear that word tundra when the Cowboys play the Packers at Lambeau. But you look at what Green Bay is doing offensively, they're they're terrible. They aren't even in the same league as Dallas and defensively as well, which has been a surprise that the Packers defense hasn't helped them a little bit more. But the only real tundra going on here is the icy stares that Aaron Rodgers aims at his wide receivers after they drop another perfectly thrown in his view ball. So I don't see Green Bay staying up. At home, even against the Cowboys, you know, you think they'd get up for that one, but I just don't see how they match that team for four quarters. Yeah, things are going pretty terribly right now for Aaron Rodgers and the rest of the pack. For all of John's weekly NFL picks, you can sign up for his Crick Slants newsletter, and you can also follow him on Twitter at John Crick.